Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am back with a very exciting story for improving social skills and pragmatic language of an autistic child. So this is a story of Alex. This is Alex who had autism. Alex was a bright and creative child but he faced challenges in understanding and using social skills and pragmatic language. His parents Lisa and Mark were determined to help him improve in these areas and provide him with the tools he needed to thrive. One day Lisa and Mark decided to seek guidance from a team of professionals including a speech and language therapist and an occupational therapist. They believed that with the right strategies and support Alex could make significant progress in his social skills and pragmatic language. The therapists started by conducting assessments to identify Alex's specific needs and areas for improvement. They created a personalized plan tailored to Alex's strengths and challenges. The plan included a variety of activities and techniques designed to engage Alex and gradually enhance his social interactions. The therapists recognized that visual aids would be beneficial for Alex. So they created visual schedules and social stories to help him understand different social situations. If you have ever used visual visual schedules uh, and social stories, they are really helpful uh, for de- developing social communication and understanding social, social situations. because the visual schedules they provide clear routines for daily activities while the social stories depicted common scenarios and appropriate social responses for example uh, when your child is going to a new class your teacher and you both will tell uh, your child a social story that uh, he may be going in a new, in a new class there will be a new teacher new children the class is on upstairs and uh, you, your bag will be on your left side and your books will be on the table you you have to keep your diary uh, on uh, the other side while last year it was on the uh, on one side but this time there is a change so in this way you are making your child aware of social scenarios so that they can easily understand and uh, manage their these social Uh, situations and give their appropriate social responses so in this way uh, alex learned all the social situations and uh, he also learned through vis- visual schedules uh, and he was able to tell what he has to do in the morning in the beginning of the class or by, by the end of the day and what he will be going to do after reaching home uh, his whole schedule he used to know and then he started to um expressing it verbally uh, initially he was not expressing it verbally because he was not using language he uh, he he learned to use the language through these visual schedules and social stories and there are lot of other techniques that we use uh, uh, with the children uh, while developing these social skill and pragmatic language like uh, one of my favorite uh, activity is a daily journal in which child is noting down his everyday scenarios what he did at home and when he comes back to the school he is going to share that uh, uh, his excitement or something uh, new or some sadness some uh, any kind of feeling with his teacher and peer group through show and tell or through um, without any show and tell he can just go straight to the teacher and share what he has uh, experienced last night or experienced uh, during the weekend or experienced uh, last Uh, evening so in this way children are able to communicate socially through these tools and to develop 
Alex's turn taking his skills, his parents organized regular play dates with his peers. During these play, da- play dates, the therapists were present to guide and support Alex, teaching him how to wait for his turn, share toys, and communicate effectively with his friends. They also incorporated social games and activities that encouraged cooperation and collaboration. As this is a very good uh, way to incorporate social communication goals while children are, are on their play dates. It is very easier for therapists if they can go to the play dates or uh, parents can plan play dates in the way that uh, the therapist could attend uh, these play dates there at their place or at the therapist's place if it is possible. Anyways, if you have to find out how you can plan these play dates so that your child's friends uh, can be present there and the therapists can also be present there so that they can help your child uh, to learn the social uh, goals the goals uh, play social how to play social games and activities so uh, it will be very very um, easier for child to uh, generalize those social goals in a regular environment it's, and they can speak spontaneously they can use their language and uh, communication easily in this way as alex made progress the therapists get gradually introduced more complex social skills such as initiating conversations and understanding nonverbal cues nonverbal cues what do you understand by nonverbal cues these are the facial expressions like how another person is um uh, is thinking or what you can how you can perceive the emotions of other person uh, or uh, your friend so if uh, if the, they are looking angrily at you or they are uh, making different kind of faces so the, the child could learn uh, through the non verbal cues they practiced these skills through role playing and real life scenarios also so which provides immediate feedback and reinforcement to reinforce positive behavior and his parents he they played an essential role in his progress by consistently practicing the strategies and techniques at home because it is not possible for a child to learn the techniques only at, with the therapist or only with his peer group parents involve, involvement is very very important they used social scripts and visual cues during daily routines and outings also and this which reinforced the skills alex was learning in therapy over the time hard work of alex and the unwavering support of his family and therapists began to pay off he became more confident in social situations and started initiating interactions with his friends he began using appropriate greetings asking questions and even sharing his interests with others although the journey of alex wasn't without its challenges his determination and the support he received helped him overcome many of the obstacles he faced with continued practice and support alex's social skills and pragmatic language continued to improve allowing him to form meaningful connections and navigate social interactions with greater ease so uh, alex's story is a testament to the power of tailored interventions and the dedication of those around him it serves as a reminder that with understanding patience and the right strategies individuals with autism can make an incredible strides in their social skills and pragmatic language enriching their lives and those around them so this was the success story of alex and his uh, learning of language and communication skills socially and uh, you all have i might have noticed that there were uh, certain activities uh, or strategy, strategies that was used by the therapist like uh, first one was uh, visual schedules then social stories turn taking skills regular play dates uh, with his peers and initiating uh, conversations and most importantly 
understanding non-verbal cues. Uh, one more I forgot to mention was the journal, which he used in the class, uh, in the class and his daily uh, show and tells, which uh, uh, made him confident in using his language communication skills in front of his classmates and teachers. Hope you all like the success story of Alex. And if Alex can do it, everyone can do it. If Lisa and Mark, his parents can do it, all parents can do it. It is not difficult if you work uh, with your child using correct treatment plan. So see you later with another success story. Bye bye for now.